The idea behind the whole thing that is filming sequences while being on the road was to kind of stay in contact with my students back home and to share some of these amazing places yeah. we, we like visited. The right hip point lowers a little bit further down so it stays in the same But also point. to create something that might be of interest for um, a greater audience, maybe also to you watching this right now. Now we are always on the lookout for um, panoramic places for our videos and since we love climbing it was a kind of obvious next step to put our climbing shoes on and to look and search for some real bird's eye settings. Have you ever seen the far side of a mountain swallow the sky as you travel through the valley? Sinks down, lift your heart, right elbow on your right knee, now only straighten the left leg. Bringing Sancho Yoga to the next level. Have you ever seen the locust clean his wings right after a plane? Like ascending up a dark cloud, then the sunlight. We start in a standing position with our feet parallel, a little bit wider than usual. All in all, I did much less yoga than I thought I would. But uh, back in Africa, the main focus was clearly on wildlife and on game watching. And if you don't know what's behind the next bush, um, well, the idea of rolling out your mat isn't very attractive. often the bugs um, that were the reason that kept me off the mat. They would basically eat your life and follow you to greater altitudes we ever imagined. Mm. Oh, the mücken kill me. There were many other things I thought I would finally have the time for when being on the road, but traveling keeps you actually pretty busy. Again, back in Africa, it was a lot about navigating, a lot about finding the right way and making sure not to get lost. And also always bearing in mind that um, the next chance to fill up your diesel might be a three days drive away. in the background but um, then when being in the road it really moves into the foreground stuff like preparing food filling up your water tank or um, well maybe a haircut anlässlich des bevorstehenden Champions League Finales hat Sandra mir einen Cristiano Ronaldo verpasst Now when somebody asks you back home what did you do today you definitely wouldn't come up with something well I did the laundry And I filled up the water tank, would you? But um, especially when being in pretty remote places, this is quite an accomplishment. All of this has something really grounding and decelerating about it. And then after a while you realize that something has shifted um, inside of you, which is a really nice thing to become aware of. So we had a lot of memorable moments. One of them was Kevin doing yoga 
We didn't set up camp far away from a waterhole back in Africa. <laughs> I was watching elephants drinking at the waterhole and come back to the car and there he was rolling out his map. Yes, I call that a chasm and a precinct. But Kevin is one of my most critical, if not the most critical, of my students. Um, and him doing or following my classes is a real quality check. Um, since he's very, very honest, sometimes brutally. Change of subjects. Our equipment is pretty advanced. But good equipment doesn't automatically make great footage. <laughs> So, um, the better the equipment, the more um, advanced or the, the more technical knowledge you need. Technical knowledge we were and we partially still are lacking. And the whole project involved a lot of trial and error, a lot of troubleshooting and much more cursing than appropriate, at least for yoga teacher. Fuck it, fuck it. Why? Was passiert? This is fucking horrible. Um, having said that, uh, last shift the weight forward, plank pose, knees to the floor, tight boot all the way to the front. Hi everyone, welcome to Dead Flay. Um, this amazing spot, unfortunately, the microphone is um, not working, which is really a bummer. What distinguishes what we offer from what others offer? That's often what people want to know, what is it that makes you special? We could now give ourselves a pretty hard time and come up with something that makes us supposedly different, but I don't really think that's necessary. There is lots of great stuff out there. Um, and what we do is simply adding something to the choice and create something the scenery is a little bit above average, what do you think? Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome to your practice and welcome to this absolutely amazing place. Towards the front edge of your chair, your feet slightly rotated out to the sides, feet slightly open. Sit bones ground, crown of your head is reaching high towards the sky. Release your arms down by the sides of your body. But then I think we, um, we also created something that is of special value to ourselves. The fact that we spend all the time filming um, in these special and beautiful locations, sometimes it involves harder approaches and a little bit of extra preparation. Um, all of this left some special imprints in our minds. But then of course the whole trip wasn't only about giving treatments and about doing yoga. Um, although yoga was definitely a part of it.
there's nothing that compares to practicing outdoors. Under the sky, under the sun, maybe the full moon. So whenever you can, do it. Don't be scared off by cooler temperatures and simply put on an extra layer of clothes. Choose a stronger practice that keeps you warm. Geh einfach. <lacht> wenn ich nicht da bin, wenn du zurückkommst, dann wurde ich vom Jakal gefressen. Nein! Zettel!